hello guys welcome to my youtube channel joseph here yeah? so concerning the latest update and health news we have been experiencing an outburst of cholera everywhere so that's the main reason why i decided to make this video so i could educate you my followers and tell you more about cholera how you can stay safe know the causes know the signs and the symptoms of cholera before we continue make sure you subscribe to this channel make sure you like this video and stay with me with the end so you can share your thoughts with me in the comment section so for those of us that don't know what is cholera i just be hearing cholera 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 what is this cholera that they are talking about so in this video you are going to know what when somebody say they are suffering from cholera you are going to know what is what they are really suffering from so cholera is a disease that is caused by um, bacteria and it is mainly found in surface or inside raw water in raw or uncooked food in raw foods and vegetables in grains and cholera can also somebody can also contact cholera when they are having poor sanitation or they are maintaining poor hygiene and cholera can also be gotten from food from street vendor and um, contaminated water supplies so now this cholera is a disease that is being caused mainly by bacteria yeah so cholera is an acute diarrheal infection which is caused by ingestion of food or water contaminated with the bacterium fibrocholerate and one thing you must know is that cholera remains a global threat to public health also, cholera is um, an infectious disease that causes severe watery diarrhea, which can lead to dehydration and even death if left untreated or if not discovered on time so that will be able to tackle it. So, with that being established, let's check the signs and symptoms of cholera. If somebody has cholera, if somebody is suffering from cholera, or how will you know when someone close to you is suffering from cholera? So I'm just going to so I'm just going to give you eight symptoms, eight major and common symptoms of cholera. So the first sign or the first symptom of cholera is diarrhea. You see the person will be experiencing so the person will be experiencing diarrhea. Thus, the person's stool will be loose and watery. And from time to time, you see that maybe in a few minutes, the person inside the toilet. Another few minutes again, inside the toilet. And what's coming out is watery stool. So that's the first sign and symptom of cholera. Diarrhea, constant stooling, and the stool will be watery. Number two is vomiting person will be throwing up, vomiting, 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 before I know, vomit, before I know, vomit. That's another symptom of cholera. Number three is sleepiness. Person will be feeling sleepy, be feeling sleepy. When the person wake up like this, hmm, sleep again. When the person wakes up, sleep. When the person wake up, sleep. Another symptom is dehydration. Constantly feeling thirsty person will be feeling thirsty constantly even after taking a glass or two glass of water the person will still be feeling thirsty that's another sign of cholera so when somebody is feeling too thirsty sleepiness vomiting and is having diarrhea there's every possibility that that person is being infected with cholera another symptoms is muscle cramp that's a sudden or 
or unexpected tightening of one muscle or the other. All of a sudden, the person will be feeling that this is joint is tight and can't stretch it, or this other joint, or the elbow, or maybe the knee. So the joint, the muscles will be feeling tight, will be tightening themselves unexpectedly. That's another sign or another symptom of cholera. Another sign or symptom is rapid pulse. That the person has it will be beating faster than normal. The person at beat will increase, will go above the normal. So that's another sign of cholera. Cholera also causes rapid pulse. Then another symptom is another sign or symptom is electrolyte imbalance. This occurs when the body minerals level are either too high or too low. And this electrolyte imbalance can affect vital systems in the body. And cholera causes electrolyte imbalance. You see the reason why cholera leads to a fast, rapid death if left untreated or unattended to. And that's why you got to share this video so that the video will go round and people will see it and know how to stay safe and how to detect cholera easily so that a proper and quick medical attention will be given to the victim. And the last but not the least symptom is excessive test and low urine output. You see the person taking too much water, too much water, too much water. Yet when the person go and urinate, what will come out will not be more than three to five drops. That's another sign of cholera. They keep too much water, yet the, the urine coming out is very low. So excessive test and low urine output is also a sign or a symptom of cholera. So if you are experiencing any of these signs and symptoms, it is better you go to the hospital fast or you get a medical doctor to check you so that the proper treatment, proper medication will be given to you to avoid, um, to avoid unseen circumstances. Also, you must know that um, cholera is a communicable disease, so it can be transmitted from one person to another, from Mr. A to Mr. B from Mr. G to Mr. E. So it is communicable, it is transmittable. Now, so we are going to look at the causes before we know how to prevent it, how to keep ourselves safe from contacting it. Don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to share the video. So, um, a person can contact cholera by drinking water or eating food contaminated with the cholera bacteria. In an epidemic, the source of the contamination is usually in the faces or in the stools of an infected person. And the disease is also spread rapidly in areas where they have untreated sewage, inadequate treatment of sewage, and drinking water so when most of the water taken in an area is untreated it means there is um, a high risk of the people living around that vicinity contacting cholera and the bacteria causing cholera also live in brackish water rivers and coastal water so it has been proven by science that self shellfish eating raw have been a sources have been a source of cholera and many people in the united states have contacted cholera after eating raw or uncooked shelf, shellfish from the gulf of mexico so what is trying so it also means that um if uh, somebody dies to eat raw fishes raw um raw brackish water 
habit raw brackish water organisms or on cooked ones or even vegetables unwashed untreated it means that you are imposing yourself to the risk of contacting cholera early early so if you want to eat any organism that's coming from a brackish water or vegetable it is advisable that you wash it with salt at least two to three times so that all the bacteria causing cholera in what you're about to consume will be washed away or will be destroyed and because cholera is communicable or transmittable from one person to another it doesn't mean that casual contact with people suffering from cholera um, may affect you so let's say mr b is suffering from cholera if mr a shake or hug mr b that doesn't mean that mr a will get infected with cholera no so a casual contact with an infected person is not a license that you two will contact the cholera so that we will, will avoid stigmatizing people that are having cholera so these are the main causes of cholera eating raw or uncooked vegetables organizing from brackish water living in an unhygienic environment keeping death around you making your space untidy and storing water for long and you know most bacteria that dwell in water aquatic habitats so when you have a stagnant water for long water that is not flowing it is better you look for a way to cover it or to make sure that that water continues to flow so as to avoid contacting the deadly epidemic called cholera so guys now we are going to be looking at the preventive measure or how to prevent cholera you know this video is mainly for you to know how to keep yourself safe how to keep your loved ones and your friends safe from this deadly disease called cholera so the first preventive measure is by avoiding tap water, water fountains, and ice cube. And when I say by avoiding, I mean when drinking, looking for water to drink, if you want to do the dishes, you want to wash your plates, your spoons, your pots, your cups, etc. When brushing your teeth, avoid tap water, water gotten from water fountains, and ice cube so the second preventive measure is avoid eating raw or undercooked seafood seafood that are raw or that are not cooked well vegetables that are raw that are not cooked well avoid eating them it will help you stay safe yeah so that's the number two preventive measure the third one is by drinking bottle, can, boil, or water treated with certain chemicals. And in that case, be careful not to drink any water that the seal is broken already. Also, make sure you eat food that are repackaged or freshly cooked food and make sure they are hot before you eat them because bacteria can't survive on hot environment they can't survive around hot environment and the fifth one is disinfect your water and how do you disinfect your water you boil it for at least one minute and you add half drop of iodine or two drop of household bleach to each liter of water or you add chlorine tablet to it then the sixth preventive measure is wash your food and vegetables thoroughly with clean water don't eat if you have not washed it thoroughly the last but not the least 
Wash your hands with soap and water, especially before eating food and after using the bedroom. And in a case where no clean water is available, no soap is available, make sure you use and yeah, make sure you use hand sanitizer which is made of at least 60% of alcohol. So these are the preventive measures against cholera. And now somebody that has been infected already, how can that person treat it? The first way is to go for oral rehydration solution. That's ORS, also known as ORS, oral rehydration solution. Drink large amount of prepackage mixed with sugar, salt, and water. So this ORS is a mixture of sugar, salt, and water, and they are being mixed in the right proportion which your body needs to help fight against diseases such as cholera. Number two is using intravenous fluid. Now, for a severe case of dehydration, you can meet a medical personnel, maybe go to the hospital, and they'll use a needle to pump fluid directly into your vein. If you don't want to use the ORS, you can use this method. And you can also use antibiotics. And for children less than five years, you can use zinc for them. Now, one thing you must know when preventing or treating cholera is that cholera bacteria usually stay in the body. They usually disappear from the body within two weeks. So within two weeks of using this treatment and the preventive measure above, just know that you are overcoming and you are dealing with cholera. Don't forget to share this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, don't forget to like, don't forget to share your thoughts with me in the comment section. See you in the next video. Bye bye.